How did working for a Nobel laureate at the Rockefeller University shape your science career? So that was a pretty serendipitous event in my life. I knew I wanted to come back to New York City and I was applying to postdoctoral positions in New York City. And a friend of mine at the time who was in New York City said to me, if you're gonna go and do your postdoc there, you should go to the best possible place you can go. And that's the Rockefeller University. And for people who aren't familiar with it, the Rockefeller University is one of the most unique universities you'll ever come across. It doesn't have an undergraduate program, it has a graduate program and an MD, PhD program. It's small, it has no departments, it has no silos, it's unbelievably well funded. It's an amazing intellectual place. And I applied and got an interview in this guy, Paul Greengard's lab. I was interested in the stuff that he was doing. I went on my interview, gave a presentation, went out to dinner with him, and got, got the offer. And five months later, he won the Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine. And I never could have known that that was gonna happen when I accepted my position in the lab. And I always joked with him afterwards that it's good that he, I got in before he won the Nobel Prize because after he got it, the applications to the lab were skyrocketing and I always thought I would never get in. And he always said, yes, you would still get in, you would still get in. Um, but that experience showed me the best of science. What's it like to be in one of the most world-renowned, successful laboratories? Um, what's it like to be a scientist in a lab where funding isn't you know, the biggest issue, like it is in most labs? And for me, even in that environment, I knew I didn't want to stay in the lab. The fact that I chose a different path, even though I was in this amazing environment was really emblematic of the fact that that environment wasn't for me and I needed to get out of there and choose something different. Mm -hmm.